Even though I have a lot of handbags, there are some handbag brands, obviously, that I don't own bags from. Now, which ones of these brands would I buy from and which ones of these wouldn't I buy from? Let's talk about it. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Amanda, Seedler Aesthetic. I am so happy to have you here with me today. I actually got inspiration for this video from With a Touch of Luxury, Paula, here on YouTube. She made a video about which handbag brands she wouldn't buy from, and I thought, that's such an interesting topic. I want to chime in. I don't think I was tagged, but I hope it's okay that I'm filming this video anyway. I'll link her video in the description box in case you want to check that out as well, but let's start talking about the handbag brands I don't own anything from and that I wouldn't buy from because then we get that negative energy out of the way and we end on a positive note you know first on the chopping block is Chloe don't get me wrong I think Chloe makes brilliant bags I think they've had some gems throughout the years but in all honesty the Chloe bags that I've seen be popular they're not really bags that I think one resonate with my style and two are like classic and timeless and will stand the test of time. I think Chloe has become one of those brands that they put out like a bag that blows up and becomes super popular and everyone has it, but then kind of dies down and you start seeing it everywhere. And I mean, that's fine, right? If you love the bag, buy it and wear it regardless of it being in style or out of style. That's what I do, right? I know the Hermes Evelyn is not the most like fashionable or whatever, but I love it so much so I wear it regardless. Key takeaway, you do you boo. Whatever I say in this video, it applies to me. It doesn't have to apply to you. You take what resonates and you leave the rest, right? Like the Chloe Faye and the Chloe whatever. I don't even remember the names, but they've had some like hugely popular bags. I have looked at them when they were popular, but they never like sparked joy like yay i have to buy it you know that kind of vibe no it didn't it just did nothing for me if i'm gonna be completely honest then i don't own anything from chloe and i doubt i will own anything from chloe ever is that a harsh statement i think that's harsh but true and on the same train of thought is jack moose or jack moose or however you pronounce it i've got no idea and i have no desire to buy a bag so i don't need to be able to pronounce it, you know? I think these bags are also very trendy, like the Le Chiquita or whatever it's called, like the little tiny bag with a huge handle that's like looping around. I think they're so trendy. I don't think they're timeless. I think we're gonna look at them in a few years and say, what the F were we thinking when we we're wearing those bags? Maybe I'm wrong, but usually I'm right you know and jack moose is one of those where like i'm sure they make really nice bags i have seen a few that i'm like oh that's intriguing but then i've sat on it for like a week and then i'm like mm, that wasn't so intriguing i'm not intrigued anymore because i'm like over it because i'm seeing these bags everywhere literally i get sick of them without even owning them so jack moose it's not for me it's too trendy i'm not cool enough if you're cool enough i'm so happy for you you do you you're probably one of these cool influencers right but that's not me i am classic timeless and boring <laughs> So next one is a little bit controversial. It's Balenciaga. I don't own anything from Balenciaga. With recent, can we say scandals, unfortunate wording, really bad marketing, whatever we want to call it, right? I think they've been in the stormy weather for a while. I'm not interested in partaking in that rainy, gray, boring attitude, if I'm gonna be honest. And, um, like I said, don't own anything from Balenciaga. Historically, I haven't really wanted to buy anything from Balenciaga because usually, like on the trendy bags, they always have like huge logos and it says like Balenciaga across the entire bag. And I mean, being completely honest, I don't think there's ever been a Balenciaga bag that I want, regardless of the recent unfortunate turns of events. But now Balenciaga is just stale for me and I'm not here for their drama, if I'm being completely honest. Next one. <laughs> 
<laughs> I am a little bit scared to put them on the chopping block, but Bottega Veneta, or however you pronounce it, I'm sure someone will correct me in the comments and let me know how to pronounce it. But honestly, the Bottega bags, I see them online. I see people styling them. I'm like, oh, that's cute. It's similar to like the Jack Moose bags. I'm like intrigued for a week. Then I forget about it and I see it again on someone on the internet and I'm like, oh, that's cute, but I don't need to own it, you know? So the Bottega bags, I know people say that the leather quality is just delicious and it's brilliant and it's everything, but honestly, honestly. I went into the Bottega store in Berlin. I tried some on, like the little Jody bags. I tried it on. I wasn't impressed by the leather quality. I think in terms of leather quality, if I'm just out here trying to buy a great leather quality bag, I mean, honestly, Hermes has a lot nicer leather, at least than the ones I tried at Bottega. I'm not sure if it has like deteriorated now with the fame or whatever, but I was not impressed by the Bottega bags. None of them really speak to my personal style either. Do you remember the Bottega dumpling bags? <laughs> That was a dark time. <laughs> so for me, I'll stay away from Bottega Veneta or Bottega Veneta or however, how should I pronounce it? I don't care. I'm not gonna pronounce it anymore. <laughs> and the last one, I saved until last because I'm still a little bit conflicted on the topic, I could say. Okay, let me just put it out there. It's Loewe. I think Loewe, ha lo lo Loewe, that's so difficult to say. Maybe that's why I don't own Loewe bags. It's difficult to pronounce. <laughs> but Loewe bags, basically, I think they're so cute. I've been looking at the puzzle bag for years. I know it's working out for so many others out here in the fashion world, and I think the puzzle bag is just such a classic piece. But when I look at it, aesthetically, I'm not sure it would suit my style, you know? I think Loewe is kind of fairly priced. I think they make great quality handbags. They're like brilliant. They're so cute. They're so great quality. And they're not ridiculously priced like something like Hermes or Chanel, right? They're kind of at a more like accessible price point right? Can we agree on that at least? If someone gave a puzzle bag to me, I would be so happy, so thrilled. I'm sure I would wear it a lot, but when I look at it objectively and think about it, I'm like, how would I even style a Loewe puzzle bag? You know, maybe if I sit on it for a while and I think about it really hard, I might come up with some cute outfits. But for me, I don't want to have to think about how to style something. I just want to have that kind of inkling of like, yay, I'm so excited to style it in that way or that way. And I don't get that with the Loewe bags. None of them. I mean, not only talking about the puzzle, but others as well. So I think I've come to the conclusion that Loewe for now at least, is not for me. I mean, it's not like a hard no like Balenciaga because of obvious reasons, right? But for now, I have no Loewe bags on my wish list, and I don't think I will have Loewe bags on my wish list. So those are five handbag brands that I don't own any handbags from and that I wouldn't buy from, or at least wouldn't buy from for now. <laughs> so now let's talk about the handbag brands I don't own anything from, but would love to buy from. I am honestly a little bit surprised that I haven't bought anything from Fendi during my, like, decade of collecting handbags because I think Fendi has some really cute handbags like for example the peekaboo I've always thought is so cute especially like the smaller ones brilliant so cute and I think they're classic and timeless even though people are like nah they're not in at the moment but I'm like you can never go wrong with a Fendi peekaboo if you have a Fendi peekaboo I hope you're wearing it because they're so cute and also on the Fendi train I also think like the double f little camera bag like the one with both brown and black, I think is so pretty. I think that is such a timeless, classic, easily styled bag. For me, that feels like an everyday bag that you can never go wrong with. And because it's both brown and black, it would be so easy to style because what doesn't go with both brown and black, you know? Then lastly, from Fendi, I mean, they're vintage luggage pieces or like vintage duffel bags. 
so cute literally i have seen so many cute ones on like vestir collective or like whichever secondhand brand you like to buy from i mean literally they've had like that like stripey pattern as their kind of monogram i guess with a small like little fendi roma text or whatever i think that is so classic so timeless like the um, kind of light kind of honey kind of buttery brown color they usually have on their leather parts on the bags or the vintage luggage pieces i think it's so pretty and they look so high quality literally i've looked at buying some of those but right now i have my louis vuitton speedy 30 speedy bandolier 30 that is i think would do the same job as one of those vintage fendi luggage pieces i'm not sure i need it but i'm still browsing them so i would love to own something like that from fendi then we have gucci <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, I think Gucci gets a lot of crap for what they're doing now recently. But if we're looking at it like in a longer term perspective, like the Gucci horse fit detail, the Gucci like classic monogram, the like cute little leather bags that are like old school Gucci. I think they're so cute, so classic, so timeless, so chic. Like I don't like the current creative direction that Gucci is going in, but like looking at those like more classy classic pieces love would love to own something like that i think one of the more recent bags from gucci that i think is cute is the dionysus like i don't know why i'm still obsessed with the dionysus like especially like the super mini dionysus with like the sparkly like little panther detail would love to own i think for like a holiday party i think that little super mini with the sparkly emblem i guess we could call it would be so pretty a like, gucci dionysus super mini with sparkly emblem love next brand on my list is bulgari i think the bulgari serpenti bags are everything literally i've been obsessing over bulgari serpenti bags for i don't know how long but literally as long as i can remember i bought a bulgari bag for my mom and it's like the bulgari diva dream i think because i don't think she would appreciate like a serpenti bag i don't think that's her style but that bag literally the leather quality is gorgeous the bag is just super pretty the chain is like heavy and substantial the color I bought a dark green bag because I love dark green and I think my mom looks great in dark green as well She has brown hair and I think brown hair and green bags such a beautiful combination I think Bulgari Serpenti bags love brilliant i think the little snake head on the like buckle is so cute i think the like snake chain is brilliant i would love to have a dark green one because for me bulgari bags and dark green is just where my heart resides you know yeah just bulgari bags in general i think are so pretty and i would love to own a bulgari bag literally and i'm not sure why i haven't bought one because i've been wanting one for the longest time but I think I've just been prioritizing Saint Laurent, Hermes, and Chanel. So maybe my priorities have to change a little bit before I buy something from Bulgari, but would love to own a Bulgari Serpenti bag. Next brand that I would love to buy a bag from is Celine. I didn't used to be such a big fan of Celine, but in recent years, I guess the more timeless, classic, boring, plain, simple, <laughs> my style starts to lean, the more I appreciate Celine. I think Celine is one of those brands that if you buy a classic Celine bag, you can never go wrong. I think the Celine belt bag is gorgeous. I think the Celine luggage especially the nano is gorgeous i would love to have like a celine luggage phantom as like a travel bag especially in suede it's not super practical to have a travel bag in suede but aesthetically on point literally i tried on a celine luggage nano and like a taupe so similar to hermes color a tube with white contrasting stitching in prague i think that bag was so cute i tried on a super tiny belt bag as well so pretty the shoulder strap was kind of shorter so it sat kind of high up which i think was so cute but that celine luggage nano in taupe with white contrasting stitching i think was so pretty maybe that's just because i think everything in taupe with white contrasting stitching is the best 
<laughs> it felt like such great leather quality. The zipper was so smooth. The bag wasn't too heavy. I know people are complaining about Celine bags being heavy, but obviously if they're smaller, maybe that's not an issue. So maybe I need to rethink the luggage phantom in suede for traveling. I guess that would be heavy, but style first, practicality second, right? That's how I live my life. <laughs> but I would love to own a bag from Celine. I think Celine is just so classic, so chic, so timeless. I would also love to have like a tiny bucket bag in the Celine monogram. I see a girl wearing that type of bag like on a weekly basis. I think we walk the same way to and from work and I think that bag is so chic. She just looks like a million dollars walking down the street and I'm like wow I wish I was that cool and that timeless. You know? That's one of my favorite ways to get inspiration by the way just watching people on the street. I think that's so fun. <laughs> Let me know if you're like that as well. <laughs> And the last brand, obviously, is Dior. Similar to Celine, I didn't used to be such a big Dior fan. Like, when I first discovered Dior was when, like, is his name Charles Gross? Is that his name? He started talking about the Diorama and the Dior Ever and whatever, right? And I think those bags, like, when I saw those, I was like, wow, those bags are so pretty. And they looked, like, so well made. Now I've kind of moved on from the Diorama and Dior Ever to like the Lady Dior. I know my dad doesn't like Lady Dior's. He always says that they look like grandma bags. But honestly, I think I'm a grandma at heart because I love that bag. I think the Lady Dior just oozes like class, classiness, timelessness, everything I strive to be, that bag is, right? <laughs> But literally, I think Dior makes such nice bags. I think their quality is great. So pretty, so classic, so timeless. Would love to have a Lady Dior bag. I kind of would love to have a Diorama as well. I think they're super cute. But you know, maybe um, I'll save that for another video. Would love to own a bag from Dior regardless because I think those bags are so timeless. And if I bought a Lady Dior, I'm sure I would have it in my collection for like forever, literally. Those were five bag brands I don't own anything from and wouldn't buy from, and five handbag brands that I don't own anything from but would buy from. Do you agree on any of these? What do you think? Do you have any handbag brands that you would love to buy from that you wouldn't love to buy from? I would love to hear from you guys in the comments and have a chat all about it. Thank you so much for watching this video and for spending this time and space with me. If you have some more time to spend with me, I will link two videos right here, which I think you would enjoy. And until my next video, stay safe, take care, and I will see you soon. Bye.